Hello and welcome back to the Tim Bush channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those lovely notifications. Well, today I'm here to see one of the finest and original examples of a true Jaguar classic, the XJS. This beautiful 1993 coupe, which is in the jade green with the ivory leather interior. Under the bonnet is a fabulous Le Mans six litre V12 engine. Mm, nice, and matched with a four speed auto developing around about 390 horsepower. Brilliant. This car also has a little bit of history as it was originally ordered new from the factory by former author, politician and ex jailbird, Jeffrey Archer. It was ordered around the time he was made a life peer, probably as a little treat to himself, as he added just about every factory option. Amazing! Now, before we have a look around the car and take it for a drive, it's time for a quick Tim Bush Channel history lesson. Plans for the XGS got underway in 1965, originally designed by Malcolm Sayer, with some input from Sir William Lyons. With Jaguar struggling financially at the time, the XGS needed to be a big success. It certainly had big shoes to fill, as it was seen as many as a direct replacement for the iconic E-Type. So, the XGS was unveiled in 1976 at the Frankfurt Motor Show, but first impressions weren't great, as the XJ's design shocked many showgoers and journalists with its unusual appearance. Many believed the car embodied everything that was wrong with 70s car design. Gone were the E-Type's beautiful curves, replaced by more rectangular frames. Unfortunately, sales were slow and the XGS was nearly pulled from production until newly appointed Jaguar manager John Egan gave the XGS a stay of execution. He improved build quality, performance and public perception of the car. And within three years, production was up a whopping 400%, turning a £50 million loss into a £50 million profit. The XGS was finally discontinued in 1996 after 21 long years in production. Well done, Jaguar. So here's that fabulous six litre V12 engine. It's an absolute monster, nearly 400 horsepower. And when you're standing next to it and it's running, you can feel the oxygen you're being sucked out the atmosphere. It's absolutely outrageous. Of course, we can't talk about the XGS without mentioning the famous flying buttresses reaching from the top of the roof line down to the rear of the wings. Although widely criticised, this design gave the car an excellent drag coefficient, allowing the XGS to comfortably reach speeds of over 150 miles an hour. Ooh, impressive! Well, now it's time for the famous Tim Bush Channel interview with current owner Mark, who's had a bit of a chequered history with the car. Lovely to meet you, Mark. Good to meet you, Tim. A beautiful car, so perhaps you could tell Thank our you. viewers a little bit about it, really. Uh, well, I bought the car 16 and a half years ago uh, as a hobby. Um, absolutely just fell in love with it. I bought it off an owner who was a bit of a bit of an enthusiast for XGSs. He had three of them that I had to choose from at the time. Um, I obviously chose this one, kept it for about four years, and then I was hoaxed into selling it to a pal in the club who mithered and mithered me for it. Gave in one night after a few beers um, and then regret, regretted it the moment he drove it away from my house. Oh, don't uh, blame me, it's beautiful. Um, yeah. And yeah. How long did it take you to get the car back? Ten years to get it back. I bet you paid a pretty penny more than you bought I, it for. I did, I did, I did. I paid a lot of money more than what I sold it to him for. And I take it you're never going to get rid of this, are you? No, no never, okay. never going away. The, the next yeah. time this changes hands um, will be to my son. It is completely original and it's completely perfect, the car. Now, the colour's jade green, it's the official colour. Yep. Now, in this sunshine today, it's more like a gunmetal grey, I would say, and it really suits the car. Uh, also, the, uh, the engine, now, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about the engine, because that is a little bit special. It is a bit special. It makes the car quite rare, which is obviously helping the, the value of it, um, because it's the, the revamped Le Mans engine, which, makes it a, which is a 6-litre rather than a 5.3. 
like most of the XGS is a 5.3. Um, it develops 396 horsepower, um, whereas the 5.3 is just under 300 horsepower. Um, so it is a bit special. It has an extra gear in the gearbox over the, all the others. Um, makes it a four-speed gearbox. Um, so it is a little bit special. And as I say, it does make it quite rare because there's not many out there that are the six-liter version. Well, do you know what, Mark? I am really excited about this now. I can't wait to get in the car. So perhaps we could go for the test drive. Does that be okay? Yes, absolutely. Oh, brilliant. Thanks for your time, mate. Okay. I absolutely love this classic Jaguar interior. It's classy, it's elegant, uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, I know it doesn't have sat nav, it doesn't have Apple voice activated thingy majig or a flux capacitor, but this interior is beautiful. It makes you feel like, uh, well, it makes you feel really important, doesn't it, I suppose? It does. Hey, I tell you what, Mark, the other thing is, I know the car's a little bit older now, but it just wouldn't look out of place outside the Savoy or even number 10. It's tremendous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it turns a lot of heads. Well, you know, you know, even before when we do some filming, everybody came over to the car and wanted to have a look around and ask some questions about it. It was very much ahead of its time because it does have cruise control, driver, passenger airbags. Um, and I think for a, for a car of its age to have those things, um, which were quite rare to have in, back in the day. I've got to say, the inside is, is, well, it is like new. It just looks like it come out the showroom. It really does. Uh, credit to yourself for looking after it so well. Hey, what's the mileage on it now, Mark? 72. 70. It doesn't look like it's done any mileage at all. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, now Mark's going to put his foot down now in this V12, stretch its legs a little bit. Flipping hell, it goes like a train, doesn't it? <laughs> Got some power there. Wow. Flipping hell, back in the day, this must have been a rocket ship. And it handles so well. For a two and a half ton vehicle, it handles so well. Well, Mark, I know it's your car and it's your pride and joy, but is there any chance I could have a little spin out in it? Absolutely. Oh, you're a star. Thanks very much. I'm looking forward to this one, folks. <laughs> Okay, I'm now behind the wheel of the XJS and Mark here has entrusted me with this beautiful car. So I'm going to take it for a spin and see what it's like. Brilliant! Okay, away we go. Power delivery is instant in the car. What you notice straight away is how far the bonnet is away from you as you're driving. It's absolutely huge to make way for that massive V12. With that uh, extra gear in the gearbox, the, the gear change is really, really smooth. You don't feel a gear change at all. I mean, on the ones I've driven in the past, you get that jerky gear change. You don't yeah. get that with this car, do you? Yeah. So in front of it, I've got all the clock layouts, you've got all the information you need, all nice and clear. And you've got your oil gauge, your petrol gauge, uh, your rev counter, and of course, the all-important speedo. It's got all the equipment, this, and it? Heated seats, electric seats, memory seats. It's got a cruise control, trip computer. It's even got a stack CD in the boot, hasn't it? It has, yes. Oh, the hell. I'm in the lap of luxury here. I've never had it so good. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, Mark, I think there's a dead sheep in the foot. Well, <laughs> <laughs> these, uh, these lambskin wool rugs are absolutely gorgeous. Mark, there's a hell of a lot of weight in the car. It's about two and a half tons, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. And it handles really well, this steering. Now, we're coming to a roundabout now, so it gives you a chance to just see what it's like around the bends. Uh, I'm not going to absolutely hoof it, obviously, because it's not my car, but uh, the steering is just right. It's not too heavy, not too light where you don't feel like you've got any feel through the steering, because there's a hell of a lot of weight over that front wheel. And, I mean, that V12, it obviously, is, weighs an absolute ton. You've got loads of power, and it delivers it perfectly. I love this wheel, uh, the wood leather steering wheel there, uh, Mark. Just suits the car perfectly, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, let's get our foot down and just open up the taps of the V12. Let it sing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Tell you what, 
market shifts, don't it, mate? This, this drives more like a modern car than I thought it was going to be, do you know? Right. I, have, I have driven a few of these in, the, in my day, and uh, I've got to say, this is without doubt the best one I've driven. It's absolutely so sorted. It does make you feel special behind the wheel, Mark. There's no doubt about it. Do you know yeah. what I feel like right now? I feel like the CEO of some huge conglomerate on his way to a, an important board meeting. That's what I feel like right now. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, it did used to belong to um, the CEO or, or the owner of Boots the Chemist. Wow, it's got some proper history, this car, hasn't mm. it, Mark? Yeah. Tell you what, I'm loving every second of this drive, mate. It's beautiful. You're one lucky man. Okay, so we've spent a fair bit of time in the car now. I'm sort of, uh, I'm sort of getting, uh, getting a bit attached to it, you know, Mark. Shall I, shall I drop you off home and I'll take it? I'll take no, it myself. No, don't get, don't get too attached okay. to it. So a big thanks to Mark for letting me drive his car today and do the video. Thanks very much, Mark. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks for watching and a massive wave and a salute to all my subscribers, followers and supporters. It's very much appreciated. Why not take a look at my other videos on classic cars including a Series 1 V8 Land Rover and a Mark 1 Ford Escort RS. Brilliant! If you enjoyed the show, why not subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next show, as I really do have some outrageously good stuff out soon. It'd be a shame to miss it. You have been watching the fabulous Tim Bush channel.